Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, due to a lot of requests I've decided to do a bigger canvas with these hair catches. If you stick around until the end I'll show you exactly what they are and give you a closer shot really of what they look like. Thank you very much everybody for subscribing, liking, giving um, your feedback. <coughs> it's always appreciated. Now I must say, um, pretty excited about this. <laughs> Although I'm also hoping that it's going to turn out well. So I've already gone ahead and put the paints in the, the little cups. If you haven't already um, seen the video on this with the beautiful flower or butterfly, whichever you guys see it is, then please go ahead and have a look. So what I think I need to do is all pour all three I think um, tilting might be better when they're all three on the canvas So I've put a bit more white in here because um, if you remember the previous video I did add some more white at the very end. There's no silicone in here and um, it's just Floetrol paint and water although in the white there is a little bit of satin enamel, but just a little bit. Now I haven't put a base down on the bottom this time. I'm hoping that um, it's going to give the same effect. So what I'll do is on the third one I'll put a base down just to see how different what if it gives a different effect. So let's put a little bit of purple down here. and then just smush it around so it's not all just sitting on the top and doesn't have a, a blank spot so I kind of want this one to be a little bit off um, so I don't really want them all to be in line with each other I will show you a b-roll clip of my previous attempt of this with the three where I felt it was a fail. So, you know, everything with acrylic pouring is an experiment really
and it's what you like if you if you like what you've created don't scrape it off somebody else will like something that perhaps you don't like I always feel that art is in the eye of the beholder as I mentioned previously you want to leave it sitting for a little bit and then lift it gently you'll feel a little suction leave it there for a little bit so that uh, the paint can drip right so this one if you remember I didn't pour a base in there and neither did I do it with this one so I think it'd probably be better off to put a base down what I might do is just add a teeny bit of paint to the center purple so that's going to move around a bit as well So it's still looking very pretty. You can see the effects already. I think with this one I might add a little bit more white like I did previously. that is looking really pretty and look at this it looks like cells so I'm going to be tilting this very very gently because again I don't want to lose that effect <laughs> and if you saw my last video of course my head was off with the fairies I think what actually happened there was um, my when I was turning it and turning it like that, my head <laughs> got mesmerized, <laughs> which is funny. But yes, these things happen, but it still turned out very nice. you just got to really keep your eye on things, I think. Just try not to over tilt. I definitely think that putting the a little base coat down first, you see the difference? This is the one with the base coat. So I reckon put the base coat down first and then see how how that turns out for you <clears throat> but again you know just keep
keep experimenting because that's what it's all about really right so I don't want to overdo this now because this is just beautiful and what I'll do is um, I'm just going to pull this paint out a little bit so it doesn't look all weird in one spot because really what I'm after is keeping it there wow <clears throat> again I think this is, is very pretty So if you have the patience, just pull the paint out a little bit. The paint will move around to some degree. So I think, you know, I'm not going to waste your time and sit here and do all of them. I'll just do this one. So you can see what the effect is. And stick around because I'm going to show you um, the previous one which I haven't varnished yet so that actually looks really pretty because um, if you can see the the edges they're quite jagged so I will off camera do the rest of those edges not sure if you guys want to sit and watch me doing edges but the detail in this is phenomenal so um guys i'm going to show you this one so this is the end result and you can see how detailed it is Definitely um, put the base coat down first, I think. You can see how I've pulled the edges out so that it can just not be so round and flat. You can see all the colours in there too. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to show you the tool after this. So this is the painting in its entirety. Hopefully you get all that. This size is a 12 by 16 inch canvas. Just hang in there and I'll show you the tool. Thank you. Thanks for watching. So here's a close-up of the previous one that I've done on video. So that's all dry. You see. 
I just haven't varnished it. The detail in there as well. Okay guys, so let me move this out the way and show you the hair catcher. I'll give you a closer shot. You'll notice over here, if you can see it properly, in the center here, these little holes. So I would imagine it's for the water to drain through when it's in the shower or in the bath. I then pour the paint through there because I don't want the paint sitting and have just coming out the one end and then there's, there's two teeny holes on either side if you can have a look if you can see that so that's the other side Yes, yeah, so it's pretty much the same and this, <clears throat> sorry, the height here is not very high at all. You can actually see that's my thumb sitting on the base of it. So it's not very high. Okay, so here is the packet. It says hair catch. You can see that? Alright guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope that this was helpful to you. Again, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.